Welcome to the video from the TheDigitalLifestyle.com We're back with a Windows 10 Insider build This is build 18346 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring And as we're getting to the end of 19H1 development We're not getting any new features now The plan now I think is to get rid of the known issues And then this is ready to go So there's um, there still is a few known issues as well One of them being the reason why we've not had a uh, 19H1 build for the slow ring yet, and that's to do with anti-cheat codes um, causing a green screen of death. So if you were using your your um, your Windows 10 machine on 19H1 and you went to play a game that uses some kind of anti-cheat code logic, then it would crash the system. Microsoft are blaming this on a third party, they're not saying who, and that's the reason why we've not got a slow ring build, because they say that a lot of gamers use slow ring, and, which is probably true actually, my mixed reality machine is on the slow ring, and I wouldn't want that to crash when I try to play Project Cars 2. Okay, so what's changed in this build? Well, there's, like I said, there's not a lot I can show you. They fixed some issues with uh, hands-free Bluetooth will cause it to crash. They fixed some issues with quests in the feedback hub where um, you weren't able to access them. Quests are like these um, well, Microsoft call them quests but they're tasked to, to verify but it's the operating system really. So here's a quest to enable reserve storage and I've actually done that and you can see that on one of my, my uh, previous uh, build videos, but these are quests and these they weren't accessible. They fixed an issue with settings that would crash if you um, picked your insider settings. Um, so that's when you go into your Windows insider settings and pick the build you're on and things like that. They fixed an issue where certain languages with Windows V, uh, the clipboard history would not uh, be correct. So Windows V, so Windows V is your clipboard history which is a nice feature of 19H1. Uh, uh, they fixed some language issues with Vietnamese, they fixed uh, friendly dates in Japanese and Chinese in File Explorer, and they fixed the family safety icon, and uh, start they fixed the start, start menu issue when using Navigator. So what are the known issues? Um, launching the anti-game cheats codes um, software, as I mentioned before. Creative Fi sound, X5 sound cards are still not working, they're working with Creative Tool. This, this has been going on for, for ages, so uh, still ongoing. Um, there's some calibration settings that aren't working. Real to SD card readers may not work. Uh, in Sandbox, narrator settings crashes it. Uh, mouse color might be incorrectly switched. And uh, in, and there's reports of Chinese versions of multiple games not working. So those are the only changes. Um, don't anybody ask me why I do the build videos? Well, I do like documenting. I've got them all documented. Um, and some you get lots of new features, and some you just get fixes. So we're also um, getting 20 H1 builds, which are uh, scheduled for next year, the release of next year, and that should get some new features soon, but we've not seen them, but uh, look out for that soon. So you can see more on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com at iStixon on Twitter. Thanks for watching.